This is one of a series of videos from People's Trust for Endangered Species on how to undertake a box check for the National Dormouse Monitoring Program and it deals with how to handle a box with multiple active animals. A nest or movement has been seen in the box so it's been taken off the tree and placed in a large plastic bag. Sleeves are rolled up, the lid and bung taken out of the bag as normal to give a clear working area. The corners of the box are checked, some animals come out but there may be more. At this point it is a good idea to carefully replace the lid, rebung the box and put it in another large plastic bag. This means that you have the box secure so it can be checked by someone else or you can come back to it when you have dealt with the first lot of animals. It is likely that a box of active animals will include a number of juveniles who might be both lively and agile. Make sure you keep the sides of the bag up to prevent escapees. You can now get on with sorting out the dormice. Work with individuals, catch them so they can be sexed and then put them in a small bag to weigh. Use a wire tag to secure the bag. Lack of air will not be a problem for the short time the dormice will be confined. Make sure all the information is carefully recorded. Put the bags with the dormice in the shade and away from any risk of trampling or ask helpers to hold them. When the dormice from both bags have been processed, make sure the nest is aligned for easy re-entry and put the dormice back. It is worth putting one or two juveniles back first before putting mum back and then the rest of the litter.